What's up, everybody? I got a little bit of an insightful video for people because there's a lot of misunderstanding in the world when it comes to the field of psychology and just how the the ways of psychology works, how the world has transformed this field. Um, and then what follows that will be the reason like a lot of people classify certain things as crazy or people feel like they can't talk to certain people about certain things or feel like just nobody, you know, but we don't, I always like to pray on it because, you know, I, I want the Lord to come through if he need to come through and, you know, <laughs> put his peace in. He already talked to me about this, but you know how I do, tradition. Our Father, I pray that whoever is listening to this message receives this message with a pure heart, a pure mind, a clear mind, that they get better understanding of their situation or somebody else's situation and just gain that more wisdom and knowledge in the world you know and of the world in jesus name we pray amen all right okay so we're gonna try to keep it as brief and understandable as possible okay so the field of psychology the lord explained to me that the field of psychology is a half written field and it's just very, very, very misunderstood, okay? Because there's the spiritual aspect that is missing from it. So, you know, he was saying it's good to go to a therapist. The field of psychology isn't terrible, but there's so many worldly things that are put into that field classifies people the wrong way. Like, let's say somebody got schizophrenia. People gonna call them crazy. So oh, you, you need to take this medication and you need to be put here. You know, they put people away for stuff like that. But in reality, because the spiritual side is missing, it they're not crazy. They're not crazy. You know, when you feeling tormented by these lies being told to you, that's the enemy. OK, it's your voice. It's the enemy and it's God's. Do you understand? So you you being tormented by voices, that's that's the enemy, because when you hear God's voice, it's peaceful. It's very peaceful. It's so peaceful, it's, it's not even funny, it's peaceful. So, when you miss that spiritual side, you're going to have no idea what is attached to you, you know? The spirit of envy, the spirit of uh, jealousy, depression, all, like, it's a spirit for all that stuff. So, the field of psychology only focuses on what happens in the physical world, and that's why it does not work. Like, it, it just doesn't work for people. And the problem comes with the field psychology with the Lord was bringing me to his medication. Now, when it comes to medication, these prescriptions and stuff like that, look, you can't, the Lord was telling me it's so dangerous to be taking this stuff. It's so dangerous. And he said, because you, the, what's the reason why you, he, he was letting me know, what's the reason why you get it to reduce those psychological symptoms or behavioral symptoms right like ADHD and all this other stuff and to lower your your moods or high, whatever is going on with you you know so he's saying but the problem is the spiritual thing behind it is there and you still aren't fully delivered from what you're suffering from so you know how people turn to alcohol and drugs and stuff to keep them away from the reality but when in reality all you're doing is making it worse because you're opening these portals and making yourself more vulnerable not being sober you know the enemy can come in and really do use you and take advantage of you and have you do things that's not of you so excuse me so you aren't being delivered by medication like medication is dangerous and it just gets you hooked on a routine a systematic thing every single day because you have that faith that that is going i know this is going to like reduce my symptoms if i feel some type of way and you depend on that rather than depending on god himself to deliver you from it do you understand what i'm saying like so if you could depend on something you have no idea what's even fully in it you ain't make it you know what i'm saying you can have that faith that that's going to temporarily help you imagine having faith in god and knowing that He's going to, he's going to deliver you from it. You won't need medication. You're going to be off that. And that's what he's saying. 
like the physical world and spiritual world need to come together for the field of psychology because if not you're not going to understand why when you try to go to sleep at night you having these dreams you know you had dreams and stuff and people say oh well, that was just a nightmare or maybe some people go into detail and say well this event you know you live in this event and it's triggering um it triggers you and you keep seeing it and seeing it well that may be true sometimes there's things you have dreams about that you can't explain like that you ain't never seen before or sometimes you you know you do have the dream reoccurring dream of that traumatic event not but not well where do you think it's coming from do you know what i'm saying where do you think that's coming from there is something causing you to go through that torment over and over and over and over again when you are asleep or it causes you not to want to go to sleep and when it comes to people taking their own life and stuff like that you got to understand you being lied to that you ain't nobody care about you and that there was there's nobody there for you you know what i'm saying and you take life into your own hands and that's why a lot of people end up that do it not a lot of people everybody that does it will end up going to hell because you took your life um on your own accord instead of doing going by what god had planned for you and it's sad he doesn't and it's not it's sad because he tries to help people he tries to give people signs he tries to send other people but you deny those people and so the enemy can continue to attack you and it, i know it can be hard but see this field of psychology is is un is, is halfway written it's not complete okay it's not so you know a lot of people going into the field of psychology you can learn all these behavioral things and um project projections and uh defense mechanisms and stuff like that yeah i've taken psychology um and you know i've gotten into some of that stuff but it's it's only you can only do so much with it using that physical world aspect okay so that's what the lord wanted me to talk oh yeah and one more one more thing when it comes to children the lord was saying people need to listen to their children like if your child is saying that they hear and are seeing i had this type of dream like children are some of the most innocent souls in the world so if they hearing and seeing things or you you say a child say they have an imaginary friend or something like that that they they hearing and seeing some things you not you gotta listen to that he says a lot of people what it, the problem with children and why they have problems when they come up they don't be listened to and a lot of parents dismiss their child's actual words of what they're speaking their thoughts like they dismiss it and say oh they're just being silly but y'all got to understand there's a spirit behind everything so something bad could be trying to attach to your child and your child is telling you but you ain't listening and then you start to call their own kids crazy and teenagers crazy and stuff and they, don't, they don't, can't speak to you about it. And they get persecuted by the world just like the enemy will want instead of being delivered from the problem. Sometimes they're hearing from the Lord. Sometimes God is trying to show your kids something to show you because you're not listening. But you dismiss it. And the kids get persecuted some way. Like, say, so you need to stop. You need to, you need, you're talking crazy. Like, don't talk to your kids like that. Because I'm telling you, just like animals, animals act a certain way, like, towards certain people. Because something could be attached to people, y'all. Like, people may not be good in your life. Like, I've had animals actually... I'm going to tell you a little something, something before I end this part. I remember a long time ago, somebody was trying to break in the house that I used to live in and stole my mom's car. But we got it back because God is good and he kept us safe. And time was everything and kept me safe because I was home by myself one day when I was 11. And it was late and somebody was about to break in. I didn't know it. They didn't get to that point. But my dad had came home just in time and they ran. But they wasn't actually physically trying to break nothing down. It was like timing was just everything. But um, it's funny because this dog, this owner was so terrible to his dog. And he left them and didn't feed them and just, wanted, just beat them and stuff. And um, we always used to visit them as kids and give them stuff and play with them. And uh, I'm about to tell a story with that dog actually later about an analogy that God literally just gave me just now. That's insane. But we're going to uh, actually know we can do it for this video. But um, this dog 
my mom came up to tell me something and the dog kind of got a little alarmed and looked at her but he didn't bark at her because he knew he felt that energy he knew i wasn't like i knew her so he was just like okay well but the guy that lived across the street came over to talk to me and my friend aj um and what ended up happening the dog went berserk went berserk on him like he was in the fence i thought he was about to jump over and attack him telling him to stay away and that was that one nothing but that animal's instincts god was you you know using him to tell me this was the one that tried to break in your house this was the one that had bad intentions this was the one that got the bad energy stay away the dog was like stay away type deal because he he cared for us stay away i had guardians as a child that i didn't even realize you know what i'm saying but yeah listen to your children because Look at, listen to your animal's behavior because you don't know what's in your house. You don't know what's around you. You don't know what kind of friends you bring bringing around. The field of psychology is more than just the physical world. It's spiritual, but the world's ways have made people be blind to that spiritual aspect. So we're going to get into the next part, okay? Um, three ways that the world has, or why people will call somebody crazy when it comes to hearing God and these spiritual things, okay? You know... I battle, I battle with a lot, guys. I do. But I'm strong. I've been healing. God has been walking with me. You know what I mean? And he got me this far. You know what I mean? This is why he's using me. Because he's using me to set an example for many of you who are in my shoes. Who have this? Who have similar? You're not in my shoes, but we have we have like the same shoe size, okay? <laughs> we have the same shoe style. We have the same shoe size, okay? Like he's he's using me to inspire a lot of you guys, you know. And and I'm gonna say it again: like be a chatterbox for God. Literally, like don't stop talking to God. Talk to God all day. Like when I get off this recording this, I'm going to go in the house and start yapping my mouth to God, like all the way up the stairs, changing my jammies while I'm talking to him, talking to him while I'm brushing my teeth, or not when I'm brushing my teeth, but you know what I mean, when I'm finished and all that stuff, like I'm going to be talking, that's how I talk to God, but when people see me, they say, who are you talking to? You're crazy, you need medication, you gotta go to the doctor. No, honey, I'm talking to God. This is how I built my relationship with him. This is why he talks to me back. <laughs> this is why he talks to me back consistently. If you're not talking, if you're not talking to God all day, you expect God to talk back to you all day? Come on now, I've been here before. And every time I've gone through something like this, I'm like, you know what? It's all good. It's all good. I always tell myself it's all good. It's all good. I'm not gonna lie, I cry it out too. I cry it out sometimes, but then I bounce back the next day. I'm human like you guys. I'm very human like you. My kids are going through it too. My daughter's experiencing jealousy. My son is experiencing jealousy. So I, I talk to them about it. And I'm like, this is what happens. You know, I'm like, we're not normal. <laughs> I'm like, it's gonna happen. And I said to them the other day, I'm like, people, people didn't see where we came from. My daughter was crying because she said, mom, my friend is angry at me. And you know, she's mad at me because of certain things. And you know what I mean? And I told her, I'm like, people say that stuff because they don't know where we came from. They didn't see where we came from. I'm like, they didn't see sleepless nights. They didn't see when we didn't have a house, when we didn't have a roof over our head, when we didn't have clothes, we had to wear clothes, donate to the shelters. Like, they didn't see all that. So I'm like, of course, they're not going to think that you came from any type of struggle because they didn't see all that. You never told them all that, you know? And I told her, it happens you're gonna experience jealousy you know what i mean i'm trying to teach her I'm trying to teach my son too but it's like my son wanted to quit basketball because he started getting good and his friends started getting mad at him because he's getting good and i'm like this is what happens you start elevating and people just start disliking you and you see the problem is it starts at a young age look kids are even doing it and if you're not checking it if you're not checking your kids when they're going through that and they're doing stuff like that at a young age, they're going to grow up feeding that green eye monster because it starts at a young age. So I tell my kids all the time when they feel 
away about something and I say, don't be jealous of that person. You don't know how that person fought for it, how they had it. I don't care if it's one person or 10 people or five people. I just want someone that's out there battling the witchcraft. You know what I mean? The rituals they do to you, the heartbreaks you endure, always being put last, you know, the rejection you face, the judgment you face, the critiques, the jealousy, the envy, the haters, the sadness, whatever you're battling. I just hope that you watching me come on every day and try to inspire you guys when God gives me the word or you just hearing when I talk and vent. I just hope that this helps you. I hope that you can see someone just like you who went through what you went through still making it, still doing it. I hope this can help you. Okay? I do. I don't like how the background's all red like that, but it's because my car lights. <laughs> I, my car is not gonna the light's not gonna come off until I leave the car because this yeah but I just hope I can inspire I can inspire you you know what I mean if that that's all I am God placed me here to do I'm happy with that you know I know he wants me to do more though because I'm like what's going on here but yeah I'm just happy to be able to help you guys you know what I mean I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. All right, y'all. So number one, why do people call you others crazy in the world if they saying that they hearing stuff or seeing things that people don't see in the physical world? Well, that's just it. Number one, people themselves cannot see it. They can't see it. Okay. And what people can't see and what they haven't experienced, you know, who are those people to tell you what you are? Because they haven't experienced it. But if they've experienced some of this stuff, they would know, like, hey, um, that was kind of a little different compared to what I'm used to. You know, everybody had dreams and stuff. More people had nightmares than they do good dreams. You know what I'm saying? So, what he wanted me to tell people that's feeling like you can't talk to nobody. He says, you right. You can't tell everybody what's going on with you. You know, when you get those per the people that say, well, you could talk to me about anything. He says, that's not true. That's not true. And this message is not to tell you that you're alone and isolated. Basically, what he's trying to say, you need to go to him. God is saying, come to me. Because you, like y'all, went during my times, going through my tests and trials and stuff, I couldn't talk to nobody but him about this. Because and he told me, he says, you can't because you got to stay protected from the world. Like, you will get persecuted for talking about this because the world don't see this this way the world he's saying the world has made him become a belief more than a a real entity a real experience for people's lives and saving for people's lives saving people out of these situations the enemy has done so well in this world with blocking god for real and basically y'all um he, he's telling people like come to him first and then he will tell you who you will who you can go to who is safe to go to because sometimes you go to these uh, these therapists and stuff and everybody don't have good intentions like everywhere in the world in every field some people they they looking for the money some people might be working with the enemy and you don't know and trying to put you farther in by giving you these medications i'm telling y'all like it ain't to be scared or to feel like you ain't got no body because God is the one, only one you need in this situation. And he will isolate you so he can speak to you without distraction. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. And he will lead you to YouTube videos, words, people to confirm. Like, you got, that's why it's so important to have him. Because he can get rid of everything that you're going through. You can't tell everybody what you're going through. Or what's good coming in your life. Because people, you don't know the spirits behind other people in your family or friends. It could be envy, jealousy. They could be unhappy. You don't know. So when people tell you to talk to me about anything, no, you can't. Because people will not understand you. Okay? People like, you know, you people like myself that's been through different experiences will understand. 
and God will lead you to these type of people. You could be very well watching this video. Oh my goodness, I feel, man, I feel, I, you know, he definitely present, but he, this is what he wanted me to get at. If you watching this video, if you watching this video, it ain't no coincidence because I understand this. I under, I get it. The things that people can't see, you might feel like you by yourself, but God is all, he knows, Jesus knows. You not by yourself. You gotta understand God appoints angels and different entities to watch over people. Like it's you not by yourself. But you got but as far as the physical world goes, you gotta be quiet on who you speaking to until you go to the Lord and He takes you to people. Then it's safe for you to get delivered by these different people and advice. Okay? So that's advice number one for you. Number two. The worldly ideas lie to people. So, you know, when I was telling you about psychology, people call certain things crazy. But you ain't making up, you couldn't make up the voices you hear in your head. Where do y'all think that is coming from? When people hear voices, where do you think it's coming from? You couldn't be crazy because people think that that's actually not happening. It's happening. You couldn't make that up. You, how somebody going to tell you what you're hearing? You know what I'm saying? Like, don't let the enemy lie to you and make it seem like you're going crazy so he can keep attacking you. Cut that mess out. You not crazy. You just going through what is called spiritual warfare. And basically, um, yeah, you going through what is called spiritual warfare. Sorry, these people next to me was like doing something weird. Uh, <laughs> You're going through what's called spiritual warfare, so you're not crazy. So the world, and the, and the Lord says the worldly ideas have caused him uh, to become non-existent to the younger generation. Like the very generation Z, he's becoming non-existent. See, most of the time, I know families used to at least bring up the idea of God and bring him into the, the child's life in some way, shape, or form, you know. Even if people didn't have a full-on relationship, they at least told their kids about him. People are not doing that no more. So, um, the worldly ideas are causing people to be mis misunderstood when they start speaking out on what's going on with them. The world attacks you for being open. So, if you ever feel like you're getting attacked because you're so open about something... Don't worry about it because God understands and he sees you. All you need to worry about is how, asking God, what's next? Where do I go? Do I take this medication? Do I go see this person again? I promise y'all, I can make the promise. I can put it on my heart and everything. Like, Y'all, he will answer it. He will not let you suffer mentally. But you got to be willing to fight the fight. You, he can't fight the fight for you in a sense where you sitting on your butt and not doing nothing for yourself understand you got to be the one that also answers the phone when he calls he gonna fight the he gonna fight and deal with the people that's persecuting you you ain't got to worry about that but working on yourself is what part of the fight and if you don't get up and start doing that you can't blame him either for what is happening to you which a lot of people do he don't do it for you he fights them outside forces for you but you got to deal with what you're dealing with internally and you got to work with him so y'all can work together to get that thing out. All right. Number three, like I was mentioning earlier, spirits are attached to people. Okay. That's why people call you crazy because people don't even, and people unknowingly have these things attached to them and they will, and the spirits will be working through them talking about you crazy. Boy, stop being a little un and stop. You know, you need to, you need to uh, man up or you need to stop being all scary and you need to stop talking like that. Like, and anytime you see somebody talking to you like that, when you're going through a situation, one thing about it, you need to stop being friends with those people. You need to isolate yourself from those people. Isolation is key to to being healed and um, being something, a newer version of yourself, okay? So... It's just so important that you watch who you're speaking to, watch who you're talking to, watch who you relationships with, watch who you uh, got the friendships with, because you don't know what 
somebody else got attached to them. And it, and it, the world is so insane right now that the ideas roaming around it, it cause so much confusion and ain't nothing but the enemy causing confusion for people and it traps people. Like this system traps people and they just never get delivered and lives continue to be taken, taken away. Excuse me, taken away and you know it's just that's just how it is so to recap at the end of this video here just to recap the field of psychology needs both the physical and spiritual aspect to it or you ain't gonna fully understand what's going on in your life okay and then why people call you crazy when you start talking about these things is because they can't see it themselves meaning you know they haven't experienced it and you got to isolate yourself with god and ask him to help you through it because can't nobody do it like him <laughs> all right can't nobody do it like him y'all i'm speaking from experience like i didn't necessarily have a full like i didn't have no mental disorders going on but just in general talking to him about things in my life get my myself in position for things in my life you can't the devil knows who don't know who you are fully but he feels that energy that god brought you into this world with and he don't want you to tap into that potential so he held he holds you down number two also i said worldly ideas a lot of people so the world's ideas cloud these fields and and don't tell you the truth the full truth about your situations there's so many evil people scattered everywhere that's got in control of these things you know, so when you learning about stuff in school, you learn about all this stuff. Um, it's not all full true, you know. Um, and then number three, spirits are attached to people. Some people unknowingly have them. So you have to really be careful who you talking to about these things. Be quiet and keep yourself isolated with the Lord until he tells you where to go. All right. So that's the end of this video. y'all. I hope this is beneficial to you. I hope y'all like understand what I'm saying here what the lord spoke through me here and i said i was gonna make an analogy so i was about the dog thank you oh he, he is just always looking out for me because i was so about to end this video that dog when he got out one day y'all he ran free and he was about and it was he was going crazy because he was finally free i thought he was gonna run completely away but he didn't he came and turned back around and he had the chance he almost bit his owner's ankle off of the, the stuff he did it was so close but just like that dog that finally got free of being in captivity, being in torture and torment and starved. When once you get free, boy, you gonna want, you gonna wish, um, you gonna wish other people in your life experience that. You gonna run free and your attackers is gonna be hard for them to catch you and they ain't gonna be able to get you. Because you gonna have that protection. So understand. Whatever you're going through, don't let the world label you as something. Don't, because that's just how you go far deeper into what the enemy wants you to go deeper into. So I care, I love, I pray and for y'all, and I peace and blessings to y'all all. I hope that this really did help, because I'm just trying to do my part. Because it's a lot of people that's going through stuff and don't understand why. I'm trying to do my part, and I told... I told God I would do my part with what he blessed me with, with, you know, the things that he's allowing me to do. I told him I was going, I promised him I was going to do this for people. So I will catch y'all in the next one. Okay. Be safe.